Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, December 27th, 2019. This week how to recolor single color or solid images in Photoshop and Elements. The idea of recoloring digital images might seem like a complicated or advanced skill, but it's surprisingly easy to do. In this series of tips, we've been demonstrating how simple it is to actually recolor embellishments and template components in Photoshop and Elements. This week we'll show you a super easy way to recolor solid images like brushes and stamps, overlays, and some word art. When the image is just one color, like black on a transparent background, you can use the fill method to recolor it. Here's how. In Photoshop or Elements, begin by opening an image that you want to recolor, like this Hello Happy Word Art. You can also open an image that contains the color that you want to use for recoloring if you like. I've opened up this December Boscage page that has all these pretty reds that I'm going to use to recolor the word art. Choose the new color by clicking the foreground color chip at the bottom of the tools panel. This opens up the color picker window. You can choose a new color one of three ways. If you know the color values, you can type it in here, or you can move the slider up and down to choose a new hue and a new color. Or you can just drag the cursor right outside of that window and pick up a new color from the document that you opened earlier. So I could pick up this pretty green or a nice red, and then when you're satisfied, click OK. You'll notice that the foreground color changes to the color that you've clicked. In the Layers panel, click on the layer of the image that you're recoloring to select it, and then click the Lock Transparent Pixels icon. It's right up here and it looks like a little checkerboard. This causes the software to ignore the transparent portions of the image and recolor only the parts that are visible. Next, choose Edit Fill from the menu bar. In Photoshop Elements, this is called Edit Fill Layer. From the contents, choose Foreground Color, Blending Mode Normal, and Opacity 100%. You'll notice that the Preserve Transparency is grayed out, and that's because we've locked the transparent pixels. Click OK to fill your word art with the color that you selected. Now that your image is recolored, you can easily change the color by selecting a new foreground color. So I'll come back to the foreground color and come over and choose a green this time. And then click OK. And then back up to Edit, Fill, and Fill with the foreground color. Using this method, you can recolor solid images again and again without harming them. It's my go-to method for recoloring brushes and stamps, overlays, word art, and many PNG images. Thanks so much for watching this week's video, and be sure to check back in two weeks for another Designer Digitals tip.